Don't do an emu on me, buddy. Oh, Jesus. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Now I'm off on another jolly. As usual, left it a bit late again. I thought I had everything packed. I was all ready by 10, so I thought. Then I had to go and pick my son up. And then when I came back, obviously panic sets in and you suddenly find you've forgotten half the stuff you need. It's always the little things. Everything needs to be packed, unpacked, packed, unpacked. Leave home, forget something, come back. And to make it worse, the weather is extremely hot. Incredibly hot and I have heard thunder. So I wouldn't be surprised if we're in for storms like we had yesterday. But uh, fingers crossed we don't or not in the part of the world I'm going. So where am I going? Well I'm just leaving Bunar. Or I was trying to leave Bunar but of course the GoPro, the first time I tried to use the GoPro on this trip didn't work. So I had to stop and take it all apart. And which is a real pain in this heat. It's a very sweaty job. Uh, so yeah, I'm just leaving Bunar and I'm heading towards Stanthorpe and I'm going via Carney's Creek Road and White Swamp Road. So a bit of dirt, keep it at a relatively nice pace. Don't want to rush things because as I say, it is really hot and I don't want to get all flustered and you know how it is look at the sky it just looks a bit <laughs> anyway so we're heading towards Stanthorpe by Karila White Swap Road and from there we're going into Sundown National Park and we'll be spending the night in a Red Rock Gorge campground so once you're in Sundown National Park, it's a bit of a, uh, a bit of a rocky track, uh, about seven k's I think, to the campground. So that should be a bit of a challenge on a hot day like this. Now, because the track is a bit rough, I have bought two spare tubes and a puncture repair kit. And I hope I don't need them because changing a tire in this weather would be moider. So, a bit of tar until we get off the off the main road onto uh, Carney's Creek. So I'll catch up with you then. This GoPro just decides to switch on and off of its own accord. I hope this is recording. I'm only taking advantage of it because the last time I tried to use it, it wouldn't switch on. Then about five minutes later, it switched on, but I couldn't record. It seems like every ride I have, I have a good whinge at the GoPro, and with good reason. The sky is looking a bit scary. in the direction I'm heading. All right, start of the dirt for the next 20 k's, I guess. Just ease into it gently. So I was here only just last week. I think it was last week with Bernie on a video that is probably on my channel before this one. If I render them in orderly fashion. Had a bit of rain, as I say, storm, so 
this road is uh, quite good. It's uh, flat and has been dampened down by, by the rain, so that's good. Beautiful scenery out here. Well, I'm going to make a call, viewers, and I'm going to say that this is the last trip I make with GoPro. That's a bold statement. But if you can't rely on a piece of kit to function, then it is not worth having. I did see that, uh, what are they called, Insta360 have just released a new cam that looks pretty good and we also have the Osmo, DJ Osmo 4 so there are two options to go for and there's even the Insta360 um, 360 there's another alternative Lovely. I do like cows. Do an emu on me, buddy. Well, I've just stopped at the same spot I stopped at my first outing as two tubes to fix the GoPro again. Yay! So we're now in Karila and at the junction of Mount Lindsay Road, Highway Road. We're going to head to Stanthorpe. It's all tar from here and then from Stanthorpe into Sundown. Guys, it's raining. Big, uh, big raindrops. Smells nice. It's certainly cooling me down a bit. For about 20 minutes outside of Stanthorpe. The sky is a hodgepodge of blue, white and black and you just can't seem to escape it. So I was bound to encounter rain at some point. I don't mind a bit of rain as long as we avoid the storms. See, look at that, beautiful. Well, the road to sundown looks great. Look at that sky. It looks beautiful now. What a lovely way to uh, end the day with, after the worry of the, the storms and what have you. Though I'm still having major issues with the GoPro. I don't even know if it's recording now. I could be rumbling onto myself. But the screen's not working. Um, so I've got no indication whatsoever what's happening. Greetings once again, moo cows. road that we've all been waiting for. Time to get up on the pegs. 
Now I did this road with my wife and daughter some years ago in the Jeep and it was rough. It was slow going. Seven point four K real sharp jagged rocks. So I'm going to pull up somewhere in the shade and I'm going to check the GoPro to see whether or not this non-functioning GoPro is actually recording in the background. Wow, 7k of this. Shouldn't be too bad. Real sharp though, eh? Oh yeah. How about we just stop here? Uh, actually, let's pull it off the road just in case a car comes. Hey. switch this bugger on and I think I'll just leave it on until we get to our destination because it's it says 6.6 .6 kilometers but I don't know how long that would take depending on road conditions but it did it did record All right, second gear. Another guy on a bike was up here recently, a couple of months back. Yeah, it's going to be tough going, 7Ks of this. Beginning to feel the old leg pump. Whoa! Give a sit down.
crap. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gnarly. Oh, jeez. Guess I'm not as fit as I used to be. These beers are going to be all shook up. <laughs> oh, 
just having to sit down, just having to rest. The old war wounds kicking in. What have we got here? View. Whoop. This is going to be fun coming up. Chit, 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 that was a front brake skid. Neutral all that time. It's not something I'd be attempting on my Triumph. <laughs> 1 1.7 That's not too bad.
wild cat. We made it, ladies and gents. Holy crap, holy, we made it. It's even a dunny. Ooh. Oh, don't drop the bike now. Oh, it's kind of freshen up. No fancy photography to the, on this one at the moment. Ah, not just yet. viewers no fancy setups today it's been a long ride and that last section was pretty tough it's 10 to 6 and I've just finished setting up so just didn't have the time to do all the camera work and everything so there stuff it <clears throat> I've got plenty of other videos for you to watch and enjoy uh, the camp setup so this is what I've got today um, bit of a change because it's so hot I thought I'd just go with the tarp and the inner of a tent um, so hopefully will allow more air to breathe and uh, I should be able to see out at night which would be quite nice give me a more feeling of space being out in the open so yeah the tarp was a bit of a palaver to set up I'm no good at setting up tarps um, I was beginning to think I should have just bought a plain old swag or tent, but perseverance pays off. Uh, so yeah, I got a, a foam sleeping mat today. Um, sea to Summit, one of those self-inflating ones. Not the, um, uh, what is it, the X-Lite or, or something like that. Not keen on that. Bloody noisy. Um, so yeah. That should be uh, should be a good good setup. Okay, mozzies are out. I need to uh, lather up. Um, so tonight got the usual steak at Uncle Ben's. Uh, got some beers tonight instead of uh, normally I take a little flask of Jack Daniels, uh, but beer is going to taste so much nicer. I'm going off Jack Daniels anyway. Um, so yeah, the weather the weather's clear, which is nice. Hopefully it will stay that way. Um, so I think what I might do now is put a brew on. Uh, I probably need to start dinner soon. The sun's going down. <laughs> 